Okay, so what's going to happen when we go through this fast? Why is it not going to be extremely uncomfortable and, and painful? Uh, basically, it's because of ketones. Uh, ketones are the reason why fasting is very therapeutic, uh, the biggest reason, and along with you know, regaining insulin sensitivity, but we can see that they come together. Um, what do ketones do? Well, ketones help to have a calm and relaxed brain. Probably something to do with their effect on GABA, which is an inhibitory neurotransmitter. Uh, keto, ketosis in the ketogenic diet has been used for almost a hundred years. Probably actually was known about a few millennium ago, but uh, it's been used for epilepsy, which is an excitatory condition in the brain. A lot of the reason why uh, supplemental ketones are now available, exogenous ketones in the form of the BHB salt, not raspberry ketones. They do nothing and they're in a different tree. Um, but exogenous ketones, the re biggest reason why they've come into existence is because they were being used uh, to create super soldiers and soldiers that were less susceptible uh, to uh, oxygen, uh, excitatory oxygen seizures uh, when they were diving for Navy divers. Okay, so insulin sensitivity is increased by ketones. There's research showing that with supplementation. If you also look it up with ketosis, uh, you'll see the same thing. But now, I guess this new research is separating which of the effects related to ketones specifically and which of the effects related to fasting or a high fat, very low carbohydrate diet, which was what was done in the past to produce ketones. They're basically your three options for producing ketones. One, fasting or starvation, which is fasting that you don't choose okay so prisoners of war produced a lot of ketones there's actually books about how amazing the mental acuity of prisoners of war was uh, because they were producing a lot of ketones it wasn't voluntary though so that was starvation um, but what we're encouraging what i'm doing at the moment is fasting to increase ketones another option is to use uh a high fat, very low carbohydrate diet. So really keeping carbohydrates for a lot of overweight people, they have to keep them under 30 grams per day. The average Australian at the moment is probably consuming 300 to 1000 grams of carbohydrates uh, per day. So, uh, you know, it's a big dietary change for a lot of people to go to go under 30 grams. It means, you know, no, no bread, no rice, no pasta, um, no sugary stuff, no juice. Um, so it's quite difficult for a lot of people to do. I've done it nutritionally, but I know that a lot of people are just not going to start with that. They're not going to start with fasting. The other option is to supplement ketones. Okay, so I sell supplemental ketones now because I know that it's the only way a lot of people are going to get ketones in any significant therapeutic concentration into their bloodstream. We all produce ketones every day, but generally the concentration is very, very low because we're eating too frequently and you know we have sluggish livers and for all these reasons, um, it's, yeah, people aren't, aren't producing ketones like they would have in the past. People who are training hard uh, and you know using any kind of fasting or low carb periods will have this system working better, but the majority of society is not experiencing ketones to any significant uh, degree. Okay, so ketones have been shown to increase insulin sensitivity. There's a study in 2016. There's more and more research being done at the moment, um, but very, very, uh, very, very promising and uh, yeah, like it is across a number of different studies where it relates to MCT oil, BC, uh, the beta hydroxybutyrate, BHP salts, uh, BHP esters. There's a number of different ways that we're able to increase ketones and um, get some of these results. Okay, so uh, MCT, I'm not a massive fan of just with some of the stuff that they're talking about with liver inflammation and um, increasing liver weight in uh, rats that are using it. Um, but yeah, there's some different options here to produce ketones. So epigenetic effects, signaling molecule, okay? So the ketone is not just an energy source, it's also something which tells the cells, okay, this is what's going on at the moment, that actually changes the way your DNA is being activated. Everybody has, you know, the DNA that you have is not gonna change uh, very much. You can get pushed around a little bit by radiation and, and things, but mostly what you've got, it's gonna stay there. But what you're doing environmentally is going to determine which genes are open and which genes are closed, which genes are being expressed and which genes are being suppressed. Okay, so that's where we do have control at the epigenetic level. You may have a risk factor for a certain disease, but your environment is going to determine whether that actually uh, manifests in your life or whether you, you, never, you never succumb to your genetic weaknesses. Everybody's got genetic strengths and weaknesses, 
the environment, the way we think, the way we act, uh, what you know, what we eat, all, all these things, how much sun you get, they're all going to affect uh, which part of your DNA is being expressed. Okay, so signaling molecule, anti-inflammatory. Okay, so it has anti-inflammatory effect, shutting down chronic inflammation. Uh, very, very interesting research about ketones shutting down chronic inflammation. Chronic inflammation is a big reason why. Um, you know, it's a risk factor for all diseases as well. So we want to bring that level of systemic inflammation down um, and ketones is one very effective way uh, to do that. The last one here is probably the one that most people think about. It's energy. Okay, so that's the reason why time trials uh, done at Oxford University are showing one to five percent increase in endurance performance in some time trial stuff. They're using ketones together with glucose, dual fuel uh, for performance. It seems as though they were probably used by the winners of the Tour de France last year, and now you know I'm sharing it with athletes around the world, and we're getting you know amazing stories and testimonies back. Really nice data coming from like cycling and stuff, where it's just clear with wattages, and um, we can keep things very controlled. And it shows that there's, there's something very very exciting uh, about the ketones. At the other level of energy. If you've watched the, the last video there about insulin resistance, you will know that uh, once a cell is, is not getting that insulin, uh, the, the, the cell is not responding to insulin, glucose isn't getting into the cell, that means the cell doesn't have energy. Okay, so when that happens in the brain, brain cells start to die. We get pockets of nerve cells dying in the brain. If an Alzheimer's brain, also known as type 3 diabetes, is where the brain is no longer able to function because it's not getting fueled. Now, if we put an alternative fuel source in there, ketones, those cells are able to function. Okay, so cells that weren't functioning can function. And there's a lot of research around... So there's a lot of research there around ketosis related to those mental uh, disintegration you know, problems. Of course, it started with epilepsy, but now it's going into dementia, it's going into Alzheimer's, it's going into Parkinson's disease. And the research with ketosis is very, very positive. Um, and those ketones being produced, now what they're looking at is, is that the result of elevated ketones or are there other factors here as well? My, subject, my feeling is that um, they'll both will be there, like the, the fasting and um, very high, very low carbohydrate, high fat, will be part of the picture, but therapeutic ketones, uh, some of the brain regeneration studies that are done with babies uh, administering ketones, it's very, very positive uh, to show that ketones, even without the other interventions, uh, are having a huge positive effect. So energy for performance and you know for bringing back to life uh, parts of the body that are dying because they're not responding to insulin. Like this is, um, this is massive and this is why I sell ketones, this is why I'm using ketones, this is why I'm fasting, this is why I've been doing uh, high fat, low carbohydrate, um, nutrition on and off you know, for the last six, eight, ten months. Uh, it's the reason why Joe Rogan's raving about it, uh, Tim Ferriss is raving about it, uh, Charles Poliquin is part of the same company uh, that I'm working with uh, to, to share these ketones. So. You know, a lot of people, this is not just coming from me, this is coming from all different angles, all different sources, that this is what the world needs right now. And so what we're going to start with this is just a massive wave of change. And we're going to see society, you know, hundreds, thousands, millions, billions of people reclaiming their health and reclaiming their bodies um, because they understand the mechanisms for improving it. That's the, the goal of Real Movement Project since it started. Uh, and understanding this piece of the puzzle is probably the most powerful powerful thing that we can do most powerful intervention so very very exciting times uh, if you do want to grab yourself some of the exogenous ketones send me a message that's very simple if you want to engage in fasting you know I've, I've set some uh, some guidelines and some step-by-step -step to do that in an easy way what I didn't mention here is that ketones are satiating okay so when you consume ketones you don't feel like binging on junk food you don't even feel like necessarily eating that much at all so it makes it very easy to do fasting it makes it very easy uh, to you know to uh, avoid sugar cravings you get those cravings because the cells aren't getting energy the cravings are there for a reason the cravings are, are not a, a bug they're a feature it's something positive that the body's doing because cells are cells are dying and if you don't get fuel to them then lots of cells will die um, so it's saying sugar 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 but the other alternative is ketones okay so um, if you if you if you if your system's really messed up and 
all this insulin and blood sugar stuff is way out of trouble, it way way in trouble, then initially when you fast, you're gonna feel very, very bad. Um, even going to a low carbohydrate diet, you're gonna feel very, very bad. So what we can do is you know, use the ketones to make that process simpler. We'll actually give you the, that state of high clarity and high performance that the, the military was researching and that's now available to all of us. We'll start with that and then show you the process to get back there, to be there whenever you wanna be for the rest of your life. Um, so that's the, that's the story, ketones. Uh, it's big news, you're probably hearing about it from a lot of people. I'm very excited about them, and I'll uh, yeah, talk to you much more about them in the very near future. Any questions, just buzz me, uh, comment below. Please like and share, subscribe. Uh, we're on a mission here, and I know that a lot of you are on a mission as well, so let's work on this together and see how much change we can make.